What's going on, YouTube? My name is Gene. Spring guys, part nine for my 100% playthrough on The Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening. Before this video even starts, scroll down a little bit, smash that like button for me. And if you're not subscribed already, what are you doing? Let's go hit that subscribe button also. So, guys, in the last episode, we actually headed to the Yarna Desert, woke up the walrus with Marin, and obtained the Angler Key. So, in this episode, we unlocked the fourth dungeon with the Angler Key, and we're going to be doing it. So, let's hop right into it and get going. This fourth dungeon is actually called, I forget what it's called. Let's see, let's see. This is called Angler's Tunnel. Let's go. And it is just a beautiful dungeon. It's just an all water dungeon. And every single episode, I say that I'm a sucker for water and stuff. <laughs> But this is just a gorgeous one. You got this nice little music playing. Come here, little spiny. What you want, fool? What you want? Get out of my face. It's actually this little path that opens up. But we're going to head right up here, right off the bat, using our, what's it called? Pegasus boots to actually do things a lot faster around here. But look at us go. We're grooving along here. But if you actually make your way right up here, right off the bat, you can get yourself the dungeon map to start off this dungeon. Let's go. Let's get it, baby. What's down here? What's down here? Okay. Actually, can we do something down here? Let's do a little bit of a rocks feather long jump. There we go. And yeah, we can do something here. We're actually going to bring out our bombs right here. We're low on them. I got to go purchase more. But as you can see, this little tile right here is cracked. So that means we can actually bomb it and all that. But we got some new enemies over here too. Like, what's good? Get out of here. <laughs> They're like little spider bugs. They're hilarious. But we can actually push that into the water. And we actually cannot go inside that water because we will drown. For right now <laughs> but there we go we can actually obtain a nice little small key right here and start chilling and everything get out of my face get out of my face we're gonna head up here little spiders they're like water bugs <laughs> we got this again ah leave me alone we got these little fire things we just gotta drop a bomb here run back because these things are cracked you actually can't take out this little fire thing so you can just block their hits and all that and then grab the chest and bang another small key beautiful beautiful Ooh, I cannot wait to get the item for this dungeon. It is so cool. And this boss fight is phenomenal. Like, it's so different from all the other ones. I just like it so much. Like, get out of here. Get out of here. And guys, let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite Legend of Zelda game is. Like, ever. Any kind. I'm just curious. I would like to hear what you guys have to say. For me, I gotta go with probably Wind Waker. I don't know. That one just hits close to home for me. This one's so much fun, though. I'm having a grand old time with this one. But Wind Waker is definitely probably one of my top ones. Okay, we can't do anything there. Oh, get out of my face. What you want? Get double. Did I go the wrong way? Can I actually... Ah, they got me again. <laughs> can I actually... Dude, stop. Get off of me. Yes, I can actually go this way. I did not go the wrong way. Oh, let me grab this Guardian Acorn real quick as it doubles our defense just for a short period of time. So we're going to grab that so we don't take that many hits. What you guys want? Get out of here. Ah! Then we got these punks. Get out of here. Oh, piece of power. Yes, now we get double attack for a little bit. Which is awesome. But we can actually grab this chest right off the bat real real quick. Which is the compass. So now we have the compass and the dungeon map. So now we can see absolutely everything within this dungeon. Give me that. And I want this spiny dead. What you want? What you want? Let me look at the map real quick. Okay, so we got this. Look look at this place, dude. It's huge. It's awesome. But that's, what, that's the great thing about getting the dungeon map and all that. Oh, get out of here. Now you can see the whole map and where all the chests are at. So as you can see, we cannot. We are going to actually have to hop over these little water paths. But we have to break these crystals around here in order to get this chest right here. And what's inside of it? Bang, another small key. This is our third small key. That's so funny. But what you want? We actually got to kill all these enemies right here. Oh, what? Yo, what is that? He yeeted on us. He said, get out of my face. But now that we have three small keys, we can actually start opening all these doors and whatnot and hopping over these little water puddles because we cannot swim. Link is a, he's a little baby. He cannot swim. He doesn't know how to. <laughs> There you go. Use this key to actually open up this door, too. And start heading over here. What you want, fool? What you want? Can we do a long jump over there? I don't think we can. I don't think a long jump will make it. But we got these punks who've been giving us trouble all playthrough. This whole playthrough has just been trouble with them. Let's go over here, do a long jump. Yee, baby. And now we can unlock this little section right here. Get out my face. Get out of here. We got these chunks. We can actually block through the wall. And that will give us a little time to be able to push. Because we can block through the wall, but we can't swing. Isn't that a little weird? Like, how can we block the wall? But we got this new enemy right here. He's like a star thing just bouncing. You can actually just whack him once. and <laughs> It's game over for him. But we're actually going to make our way... Well, this path opens when you walk back and forth. But we're going to make our way over here because we cannot do anything really in that room just yet. Oh, we smoked him. What we got? What you got for me? And look at this. A small key actually drops down into a little puddle that we can deal with later. You guys will see later because we cannot do anything with that without the dungeon item. But we have no small key, so... Without a choice, we have to go this way. We got these spinies right here. What you want? 
What? Oh, what? Dude, I love the new enemies. The little water bugs are hilarious. They are hilarious. What we got now? What we got? Oh, yeah. Let me look at the map real quick. So we're missing a few things. Oh, we could have went up that way. That's what I want to get right here. But we're good. We're good. We're, we'll be fine for right now. I'm just going to keep moving along this way. Hopping with Rock's Feather. You can actually not do any damage to those things, I don't think. Get out of here. Look at all these water bugs. What you fools want? <laughs> They're done. <laughs> They're so funny, man. <laughs> Look at these. We got these new enemies. I actually don't know how to kill them. I think they just pester you and all that. But we can actually start swinging at all these enemies right here. Oh, dude, of course the red thing hits me. You guys know the deal. Let me get this little spear guy out of the way. What you want? Tell me where your sword. Yeah, get out of here, boy. We can actually open up this chest. And what's inside here? What we got? Oh, are you kidding me? They fooled us. They fooled us again. <laughs> yeah, this dungeon is sick. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. All right, let's look at the map real quick. See what, what we can do. We can actually head left here. Let's, let's check out what's left. What we got over here? We got over here nothing that's just to doom over there we're dead if we go <laughs> so we're gonna make our way up this way hey what the heck's your problem so we got ourselves a piece of power and as you can see dude we got these tiles on the ground but we can't really do much with the tiles just yet but we got this chest and bang another small key so now we can actually open up another door ah what you want can we actually move this over yes we can move this over and that doesn't do anything for us Oh, God. Everything's firing at us. Is there anything up here? No. We're just going to head back this way and start making our way back down this way. Oh, we can actually use this small key to go back inside. I know where we're going. I know where we're going. What? <laughs> Yo, when he lands away. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Yo, dude, that cracks me up. Yeah. Get out of here. What do you want? Oh, we, we can actually kill those things. And we drowned it again. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Get out of here. What do you want? What do you want? Alright, we're actually gonna head up this way now. Oh, come on! Look, they all got me! <laughs> Get out of here! Now that we have this extra small key, we can actually head in here. And look who we got! We got the mini boss for this dungeon! I don't even know what he is. He's like a giant water bug. But he's gonna run towards us. What we gotta do is hop onto the other side and start smacking his butt side. Because that's like his little soft spot. It's not too hard. It's pretty simple. What you want? It doesn't take too many hits, I don't think. But we can actually charge up a spin attack. This is actually cool. I'll show you guys something. You charge up a spin attack and hold it down. You can actually jump. Oh, but I miss it. You can actually jump and use your spin attack at the same exact time. What you want? Who? Get out of here, boy. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> he went backwards on us. What you want? Come here. Come here. Which way are you going, punk? Come this way. Get out of here. Oh, he's like speeding up now. Get out of here. Come on. You gotta be like almost done. Alright, what you want? Yeah. Get out of here, boy. Stab. Woo! Let's go, baby. Take that water bug. No, that little boy. He actually gives us a fairy. Should we capture this? We're actually gonna capture this right now in the bottle and save it for later because I think we can actually grab a couple more hearts on our way. So we can maybe save the fairy for later, which is nice because we forgot to go back and get Tracy's medicine again, which revives us once we die. What do we want? Do we even want the shovel? We'll just keep the shovel out. It's not a big deal. But now we have a warp point from the beginning and back. But as you can see, these things are closing really quickly. So we got to make our way in here. And we did it. We made our way into this little section. And we got these little buggers right here. Stop it! Get off of me! <laughs> we got everything firing at me. Oh, my Lord. Can you guys just leave me alone? All I want is this chest. Block these shots real quick. Open up this chest. And we get the item for the dungeon, which is you got the flippers, baby. Now we can dive underwater. Press B to swim and A to swim quickly. Okay. All right. We got it. Okay, but we got to destroy all these enemies. And once we destroy all the enemies, this opens up. And there's actually just a nice little three heart over here. We can chop this up. We got these little, like, pig looking things. I don't even know what they are. But we got to hit them from the back. Get out of here. What you want? As you can see, we got this little tile thing. Get out of here. Can we kill this thing? Thank you. <laughs> now we kill this thing. The one tile lit up. And now the glowing thing moved over here. So we just got to, like, come over here and do this path. Now, one, two, three, four. So it kind of went in the left, then diagonal motion. I believe we have to remember that for future references. Yo, what you want? Is there anything over here? Oh, no, we can actually walk this way now. Oh, wait a minute. I want to push this over. There we go. Now we can make our way up this way and come over here into this room. And how'd it go? It went here? Yeah. And now I can swim, actually, which is awesome. Look at this. It went here. Now we can go to the middle one. Yeah, see, it is the same exact path, so you just got to remember that one because it, it will not show it to you here. But now that we do that, it actually drops us or opens up a little dungeon area right there, which we're actually going to go to right now. Let's go. Let's go, baby. What you want? 
Now we can make our way. We got these like thwomp little looking things. They're like the Legend of Zelda thwomps. They're not like, <laughs> instead of putting Mario thwomps in here, because they've been putting Mario items in everything, they put Legend of Zelda thwomps, <laughs> which is hilarious. <laughs> now we can make our way up this ladder and all that. And we make our way to this little area right here. And if you just walk down a little bit, we get this chest and look what's in it. We got the nightmare key. So now we can actually go take on the boss whenever we are ready. Let's see what we have to do left on the map. As you can see, there's a couple more chests. We got one, two, three. Okay, so, so we got three more chests that are easy to get. We're going to do them right now. So which way would be easier? I think if we head down this way, jump this way. Actually, would it be easier to just... To, no, it would not be easier. Never mind. We're going to head back here. Get out of here. Run! We don't have to first all you enemies. Get out of my face. We're actually going to save that little button for later because that's in order to get to the boss door, I believe. <laughs> what am I doing? We can swim! We can swim! What you want? Get out of here. We can swim now and actually make our way towards this way. Open up this chest and get ourselves a nice little purple rupee. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Get out of here. Uh, actually, going to keep making our way up here. And you guys remember that, uh, what was it? The key that dropped right in here into that little puddle. We are actually going to go after it right now. Because if you make your way, ah, get out of here. Run. If you actually make your way over to this little area right here. You can use the stairwell to actually get down and bang look in the water look at it we got ourselves a nice little key i don't think you guys can see it i think my uh my webcam might be blocking it but the key is right in that water right there and we can actually swim underwater and be able to grab it now which is just delightful you we're gonna do a little pegasus long jump save us like about a half second <laughs> which is nice we can actually start making our way actually what's your problem what is your problem why is everybody coming after me what you want get out of here Stab me! Die already! Okay, okay. Alright, we cool now. We cool now. I'm actually gonna make our way back up in here so we actually get that a little, uh, right here. This little warp point so we can go back to the beginning and get those two chests just a little bit easier for us. There we go. Back in the beginning here. We can make our way up here. Get out my face! <laughs> We're gonna make our way this way and Pegasus boot run over here. We got this small little path that I forgot about in the beginning, but it's nothing too special if you just know what you're doing. Which is the stone beak that you just place inside the little owls and all that to get all your stuff. Now we got one more chest and where is it? I think we got to head. Yes, we got to head down and around and up through that door, which is right to the right. But we have to make it around. Guys, my nose is itchy. Why is my nose itching? It's all good. It's all good. I'm ready. I'm ready to face this boss and move on. But through this dungeon, I think this dungeon has been my favorite so far. Let me know what you guys think of this dungeon as you guys are watching. I think it's been my favorite so far. Just because it's like, it's just different from all of them. Like, all the other ones are kind of like the same a little bit. But this one just like stands out a little bit because it's like all, you have all different mechanics. We got this little fly thing. Can we hit him with a pot? No, we cannot. But that's off the fairy, but we already have one. And there we go. Grabbing our last chest, which will be a purple rupee, which is just dandy, baby. Yee! <laughs> so now all that's left to do is actually swim across here. Itch my nose once again. Because I have no clue why it's itching so much. But we can actually make our way back down this way. And actually start heading towards the boss. Jeez, guys. I have no idea. Did, like, a mosquito come over here and, like, bite me on the nose while I was doing this? Which way? Actually, I want to head down this way. I think it'll be quicker to do this. And warp back to the beginning over here. Let's go. Let's warp. Well, not to the beginning. To the middle. Itching again. It's just randomly, guys. It's just randomly that my nose has been itching. <laughs> Like, I was fine this whole playthrough, and now it's just itching. Actually, what am I doing over here? Can I head back through this door? <laughs> what am I doing going that way? I'm dumb. But we actually want to head down this way. I believe it is, yeah, down and around. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. I'm leaving these punks alone. Get out of my face. They're my worst enemies, man. <laughs> we can actually Pegasus boot run and all that. What we want? Take a little shortcut. Swim over here. <laughs> Whoop on these bugs. Get out of my face, buggies. We can actually swim. Look at us. Oh, yeah, we can dive underwater, can't we? How do we dive underwater? A uh, bee dives underwater. Okay, that's cool. That is cool. We can hop up here, hit this switch, open up this path, hop up here, grab that, and use our last small key to open up this last path. Let me just make sure real quick that we got everything. Oh, yeah, we did. We are the best. We are the best. But look at this, guys. We got cheap cheeps over here. And you can actually swing your sword underwater. He does, like, a nice little uh, vertical swing, which is cool. So, like, he changes up his uh, fighting style. Because, as you can see, we can swing up and all that. The spin attacks go around them and all that. Actually, I just got the piece of heart. Or not piece of heart. Piece of power so you guys can't see it. Look at that. It swings around. So, it's so cool. It's just like a little... Makes it a little different for the fighting mechanics to change up just a bit. But we can make our way up this ladder. Over to this path right here. Push this little thing. I don't think we have to defeat these guys. Oh, oh, get out of my face. What we got? We got nothing around here. And there's probably... Is there a fairy in here? 
Let's see. Usually they put fairies in here. No, there is not. But wow. Here we go, guys. Heading into the boss door to finish off the boss for this dungeon. And as we make our way over here, we can do like a nice little cannonball. Yay, yeah, baby. <laughs> and jump into this little puddle and actually start swimming down. And once we start swimming down, the boss will come out. It is a giant angler fish. Look at him. He looks so cool. Bloop, bloop. Club, club. Orang. Food. Bloop. Club. <laughs> angler fish. This is the fourth boss. For and the main boss for this dungeon right here, but he is actually not too hard. He just swims back and forth, sending down rocks and all that. We just have to watch out for the rocks and all that. And he's just gonna charge after us again. We're gonna take a few hits and all that. We, we actually have to get like on top of his face in order to deal damage to him. I don't know if you gotta hit that little. I think you gotta hit that little angler ball. We can actually charge up a spin attack. How did that hit? You guys saw that was right on him. Get out of my face. What you want? Yeah, this boss fight isn't that hard. It's fairly simple again. How aren't we hitting with that? Look, he spawns a little, like, baby anglerfish. Get out of here. You want another one? Yeah. Oh, my God, dude, these rocks. These rocks. Get out of here, baby anglerfish. What you want? This guy, we're just murking on him. I think he should be almost dead soon. He calls out more anglerfish right now. We're going to whap on him if they come near us. Get out of here, anglerfish. Get out of here. Oh, my God, he's on the ground. Beat him. Beat him. What is he doing? He's on the ground. Get him. <laughs> We like made a faint or something for a little bit. We stunned them up and we whack them again and see you later. Just a little blow up thing. Yeah, like I was saying, the bosses aren't too hard. They're pretty straightforward. Just attack, press B and swing your sword. <laughs> Knock them up. They're just really, really fun. But there we go. A full heart container actually drops once again, like normal in the dungeons. And we can actually grab it and fill up our hearts. How many do we have now? There is. Ooh, is that 10? Is this 10? I think we finished our first complete row. So I believe it goes 10, 10, you get a total of 20. But we can actually start making our way back up to the top. Climb up this ladder. Climb up this one. Oh, you can jump on the ladders. That's pretty dope. And this gate will actually open up, leading us to our fourth instrument. Let's see. Let's go to items. Our fourth instrument. Let's go. This is the... What is it? You got the surf harp. This is the surf harp. Let's go. Now we can play some gnarly tunes on the surf harp. <laughs> Let's hear it, Link. What you got, buddy? Mmm. Uh. <laughs> yeah, Link. <laughs> yeah, that's too funny. That's too funny. But there we go. We can, like, hone the power and then just magically land outside. Let's see what this says. It says the bay. We have to go to the bay area, which is our next little priority. Your road goes into the bay. Beautiful, beautiful. That's our next mission, guys. We got to make our way to the bay. Let's get it. Let's get it. Now we can make your way out here and actually end off the episode there. So, if you guys did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. As in the next episode, we're going to be collecting more little collectibles like seashells, piece of heart, figurines, and all that. And then moving on with the main mission. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.